Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Renovation Sport Fish. In this episode, I'm going to get back on those knees that I installed in the cockpit. I'm actually going to tab them into the hull. I'm also going to install for the final time the mahogany base trim on the transom and the main bulkhead. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you at the end. All right, so a quick explanation of what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I put these, what I'm calling knees in, and there's three per side back here in the cockpit. They're three quarter inch marine grade plywood that I had pre-fiberglassed. And, um, and then I installed them. Now when I installed them here, I just epoxied them in. I didn't use any fasteners. Um, there's just no easy way to fasten. You'd be going into the end grain of the plywood or really close to the edge and it would just probably blow out a little bit. So I decided just to epoxy them in and add a fillet. So they're epoxied in here and then up at the top. And they're not touching the hole on the sides here. Uh, I'll, they'll just be tabbed in later. I'm not going to do that today. But today I want to tab this area in here just because I didn't use fasteners on both si on both sides and then up the top the same way to the framing uh, for these coverboard, this coverboard area is a frame back here. So I'm just going to use some strips of uh, fiberglass tape, uh, probably a two inch strip here which is about the width of this and then probably a three inch at the top because I could fit a larger one in. And that'll just give me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that that's attached a little bit better. It's probably not doing a heck of a lot, but that's just the way I do things anyway. So anyways, I'll put a couple layers of the six ounce tape here today, hopefully in the top and the bottom. Then I'm probably just gonna let that dry and then just sand it out nice and then, then do the real tabbing with a wider piece over here to the hole, the tie into the hole on another day, you know, another time. So um, that's what I'm gonna get going on now.
Uh, you saw me use uh, West System 610 and Thixo. The reason why I used the two different ones is uh, I had the 610 in clear and I had the Thixo in a wood color. So I wanted to use the um, Thixo around all the edges where the wood was because uh, I had some gaps. Not on the side too bad, but in the corner is a pretty good sized gap there. So I wanted to fill it with a wood color one just to make it blend in better. That's it for this. I'll, I'll plug these tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, it's the next morning, uh, and I started sanding this one already because I want to try to get this tabbing in uh, in this corner here today. Um, so this is dry good enough. Now, I started trying to do this with my dual-action sander, and it was just such a small, tight area. It wasn't really working out, so I just am using my Dremel with that little sanding bit on it with a vacuum so it doesn't throw dust everywhere. And um, that right there literally, literally took me probably not even 10 minutes to sand that. So <laughs> it took me longer to get the dual action sander set up and get the paper on it and <laughs> set up the vacuum for it. But I'm going to have to do that and up here. And this is where the, I'm not going to get the dual action sander in there anyway. So it'll be good to get this done today, hopefully. And um, and we can move on to something else. Uh, the update on the tabbing. I managed to get all the top and bottom tabbing sanded in a couple days. Uh, it was a little more tedious than I thought. And then um, last night I managed to get all the tabbing done on the sides of all of these pieces. That took me one night to just cut all the pieces of fiberglass and wasn't the whole night, but some of the night. And then last night I came over and I got them all done. I was surprised. I thought it was going to take me a couple nights to get that going, but um, it went pretty smoothly. And I just plugged along and got plugged along and got it all done. So tabbing's all completed, and uh, now I can uh, move on to other things. All right, guys. Well, here's the update on the base trim at the main bulkhead, and I did. Managed to get all the plugs in the other day. So the next thing here is going to be to uh, trim all those off and sand that down and prep it for varnish. Well guys, it's been a week and a half since I painted this transom. So I think it's about ready for me to start um, prepping the area here to install the base trim and these wood blocks that the cleats attach to. So that's what I'm going to be working on today.
Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, I stopped at this point, and a few of you probably have noticed along the way that there's always these little rectangles on the transom that I haven't talked about or mentioned or anything where I'm actually doing some work. Well, that's actually where the cleats are mounted, and um, they're mounted on some teak blocks, wood blocks, that I've been kind of restoring and modifying to attach the cleats a little bit better than the factory did, in my opinion. And so I've just been videoing that project and I've been working on it on and off, mostly off, um, for quite a while. So I, like I said, I took all the clips of that. I'm going to just put them into one video and it'll go from when I started to mounting them on the transom. So that's what's going to be coming up in the next episode. Hope you um, have some time and some interest in watching it. And um, yeah, so until then, have a good one and we'll see you really soon right here on Renovations for Fish. <laughs>